All right, welcome back. And uh, we're going to continue the discussions. This is the road to 2023. But this time from River State, interestingly, there's plenty of drama happening. A drama, uh, if, it doesn't, uh, <laughs> if it doesn't include the governor of River State, uh, you some week, uh, week it will include the opposition. And this time, we move to the All Progressives Congress in River State, where the fallout of um, party's primaries has meant uh, a fallout of members also, too. You have mass resignation, defection of members. If you've been following the news, we are going to be talking to Emeka Beke. Emeka Beke is the chairman of All Progressives Congress in River State. Thank you very much for joining us on News Hub. If you can hear us, I uh, would love to confirm whether you are with us. Emeka Beke, great to have you join us. Yeah, good morning, viewers. Excellent, excellent. And I would love to say that um, thank you very much for honoring our invitation uh, to talk about the, uh, what is going on in your party. So first and foremost, would you want to describe the situation of the All Progressives Congress in River State as a party in crisis? You think, it's, you think it paints the, the right picture? Well, first, uh, let me thank you for giving me this opportunity to be able to talk to rivers and entire Nigerians. As a political party that is charged to prepare for election come 2023, and I can tell you clearly that the party is, the party is clear, ready, and ready to win election in River State. Um, you don't expect everybody to behave the same way like you. Some people are there for what they want to get, uh, probably food safe and for economic value. But some people don't really have the intention of it. That's the truth of my life. But as APC, we are ready for election to take over Rivers on 2023. That's what we are. Uh, Emeka Beke, to, to a lot of people, uh, the All Progressives Congress seems to have been struggling uh, to be as relevant as it should be within the River State fold, especially since the beginning of this uh, republic. What do you think could have been the reason why people view the party in that line, especially when it takes into consideration the recent defections uh, of some of your prominent members to other parties? Well, I don't know exactly what you talk about prominent uh, when it comes to the issue of politics. Right now, there's nobody that is not prominent in Nigerian politics. Election is now one of the unit. And everybody is very, very prominent in Nigerian politics. And I can tell you clearly, as a party, you know, people are leaving the APC and people are coming, leaving the PDP to APC. Those are everybody is very important when it comes to the issue of election. And everybody is very important at this point in time in Nigeria. So, so in, interestingly, you, you know, um, people, the, the previous discussion we had uh, this morning had to do with the NNPP. Ibrahim Shekharao got upset. He wasn't, uh, felt he was being betrayed. He wasn't get, getting what he wanted. And then he moved to the People's Democratic Party. In a similar tale and narrative you have uh, with your party, Senator Magnus Abbey, uh, for many years, has um, dreamt, I guess, of being one day the governor of uh, River State. And... Um, he, feel, he felt he's not had a fair deal. You, you think the exit of Senator Abe from your party in River State um, in any way hasn't weakened the APC in River State? Uh, Magnus comes from Gokana, Biara precisely, and um, I can tell you clearly, the momentum of the APC in Biara is very high. It's one place where I'm winning election. Senator Mag, I don't like to take issues concerning somebody that I've worked together in politics. I wish him well, and uh, I wish him very good wealth for his good endeavor to become governor of River State. But one thing I can tell you, if it's one place we're very, very sure, I can beat my chest any day, any time that I win his bearer, his own, his own town, bearer, and his local government, Bokana. Somebody, you, you, there's one thing is for you to have ambition, to become son, is for you to drive, to, drive to, to, to be sure that you, your ambition is, you have achieved your goal. 
and um, Senator Magnus leaving the party is his choice of leaving the party. I won't come and discuss about Magnus Sabe, but one thing I can tell you clearly is that the APC family will win election in Bera. Where he comes from, I can give you that guarantee that will win election in Bera. Okay. Um, it would be very interesting for many people, especially those watching uh, within River State, to really understand where you are as a party within the state. Uh, there is no doubt you've just said you don't like talking about people with whom you've worked and who must have, have, uh, must have had personal relationships with based on politics. Fine. But we're discussing politics and electorates want to understand your party. So when they're making their choice come 2023, they know that they're making it the right way. What are those things that many electorates within your party in the state do not know or need to understand about the crisis perceived to be, uh, you know, engulfing your party at this point in time? And what are you doing uh, to ensure that all the dust settles so that the, the traction towards 2023 uh, gets, you know, you know, faster, smoother, and better for you? Okay, first, uh, let me, I didn't want to call it, but let me take somebody like Sansam Jaja Balolo. He was part of the Reconciliation Committee of our great party before he says it from the party. And after then, the committee has been led with former Dr. Sekonte David, the right hon. Sekonte David, who is the chairman of Reconciliation Committee of members of our party. And what we're doing is to reach out to people who probably feel aggrieved, people who had ambition to probably governor or you want to be senator, you want to be house of it, to go and talk to them, to make sure that the ultimate goal for Rivers will for APC to the government of Rivers the country to the And that's what we're doing. And we're reaching out to everybody. We, at the same time, we're reaching out to the other people on the other side of the party. But we don't need to come out of the street and start mentioning their names right now. We just want to keep them the code. But at the appropriate time, you will see this a tsunami that will happen in Rivers to leaving the other side of the party. And I can tell you clearly. And as a party, what we do, we brought a, 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 a technocrat who has been in the private sector. You know about Toyeko. He knows he's a sound person in business. He has done very well for himself. We brought him to come and govern River State. We need someone that will develop River State from point A to point B. That is what APC is doing. And we have gone across the state to talk to people. Politics is not won by the local government anymore. You know that politics is, is the winning of election is in the local unit, right? And I can tell you clearly, we are reaching out to people. We don't need to come and tell you our strategy. I'm going to win an election. I'm going to tell you how we're going to reach out to people. We know we are reaching out to everybody. In the last couple of weeks, we've been in the local government. We were in Degema. We went to unit to unit to go and make people understand the importance of them in this election. That is where the APC stands. It's not about the Jamboree time. It's not yet for Jamboree. At the appropriate time, when we come for Jamboree, we'll do Jamboree in River State. Right. And, 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 and it's great you mentioned reconciliation. Uh, when you think about the problems that may have happened, I mean, if there were any problems, you probably won't need to even have a reconciliation committee set up. But uh, people who are watching will often ask the question whether the, the goal behind reconciliation has been achieved. If you, if you look at the two major characters here, and uh, since you're your leader of the party in the state, you ask yourself, maybe, maybe things would have been done differently uh, between uh, minister, former Minister of Transportation, uh, former Governor of Rivers, State, Ruth Miyamichi, and Senator Abe, you, you think you think all sides have been dealt fairly, and if they haven't been dealt fairly, what would you have preferred to have happened, at least to save as many people as possible within your party, rather than them move away uh, from the APC? Well, first, is you see the issue of reconciliation. We met with Adamu, the president, the national chairman of our party. He did a reconciliation concerning Senator Martin Sabe and the right home wrote to Michi Bika and clearly told him, look, you need to go and talk back to your friend, you need to talk to your principal. We do hope to get in touch uh, back with uh, Chief Emeka Bika there. He's regional live from our Port Harcourt Studios as the chairman of the All Progressives Congress uh, APC in the state. And he's back. All right, Chief, you're back. Please continue uh, with your line of thought. Yeah, yeah. What, what is it? Like we're trying, we, as a party, I can tell you several committees has met with us in Abuja, reconciliation, and which we've been able to wait for them to do. They've been able to talk to our friend and our brother who are on the other side of the party. 
who is in the SDP right now, we can't talk about somebody who has already moved to the other part of the party. You can't talk about. We are talking about people who are present in the party who are doing all that to make sure we to every agree first. Like I said earlier, who probably probably feels one thing or they have to talk to to get back to the party. And I can tell you what we're doing. Everybody is on the track. If you who are living, you can't. If a man makes up his mind that he wants to, you can't stop him. You must know that. Anybody who has made up his mind that he wants to live to the other side of the party, you can if anybody who wants to leave the other side of the party to this, you can't hold him down. That's a true party. That's a true position. But we are doing everything possible to talk to everybody who are members of our party. There is nothing in the other side of the party. You have to remain focused in APC. All right. Now let, let's take a look at the journey towards 2023. How much is APC ready? to make the change that your party always promises uh, for, for the people of uh, River State, should you be given the chance to? As a party, we are putting our blueprint together and you know what has happened in the last eight years, our seven, seven to close, the government is left about eight months. Uh, and then I can tell you there as a political party, we know the problems of river people. Unemployment is the key focus in river states. Insecurity is one of the major problems in river states. And uh, most of our children have dropped out. Most of them who were overseas brought back to rivers, brought back to Nigeria, who has scholarship overseas. There are certain things, policy that the government needs to take care of, which we are offering the rivers people that if upon is given to us to serve as government, we will change the narrative in river states. As a party, we are really working very, very hard to make sure that APC takes over government of River State. And when APC comes on board, there are certain things that has not been done by the last administration that by this government, which APC will offer to River people. All right. Um, and I'm sure that um, a lot of people in River State who are watching this morning show perhaps be thinking whether lessons have been learned uh, by your party. Last election, uh, was a disaster for the APC in um, River State. Had no uh, representation of the governorship poll. What, what, what would you say has been the most important lesson you've learned that you will take into next year's uh, election that um, must not repeat itself? Well, first, you know that what happened last time for us not to be in the ballot, the judiciary denied APC not to be in ballot. But this time around, we're making sure that nobody denies APC opportunity not to be in the ballot. APC will definitely be in ballot this time around. And I can tell you clearly, if the other side of the party is popular and strong, they want everybody to be in the ballot. If you're not strong, that's the only way you get scared of other person being in the ballot with you. But I can tell you clearly, this time around, APC is going to be in the ballot. And we're talking to reverse people. You've tested the other side of the woman, you should be able to test the other side of it too as well. But I can tell you clearly, no going back, APC is going to be on the ballot come 2023. I know you said earlier on that you would rather not talk about some certain things, but electorates want to hear everything. If I'm going to cast my vote in your favor, what do you I have want questions. To hear? Okay, all right, let me come with a question. Um, Senator Magnus What Abbey, do you want to hear? Okay, so that's the question. Senator Magnus Abe has said that come 2023, my name will be on the ballot. And so many people are asking how. And they, what how do you want is, to hear? I'm willing to hear from you. That's the you question. You must tell me exactly what you want to hear. The I question think. is, Senator Magnus Abbey says his name will be on the ballot. And, of course, your party has uh, Prince Tony, whose name is there. I'm not hearing you. Okay. All right, I think we'll fix that in just a moment. We'll be back with you, uh, Chief Beke. Uh, there must be uh, something we have to fix there. Uh, so if one member of the party, some would say faction, is as promised, he came out to say, my name will be on the ballot come 2023, watch me. Mm -hmm. And the party still has to wrestle power from the party, People's Democratic Party, right now under the, the yeah. administration of Governor here some week. I, yeah. I'd like for him to talk about how that can be possible if that really comes to play. So right. <laughs> I can't wait I, to hear him yeah, respond to that. I, I, I can't wait also to hear uh, his response also uh, to it. But, okay, he's back. All right. All right, Chief Baker, you're there. I didn't get that clear. All right, but you can hear me now. I can hear you now. Oh, great. 
So, uh, one of your party members, to many Nigerians, especially those in River State, they just, when you say APC, they feel it's just one APC. When people start to think about a party, factionalized, then it, it eats into their, some would say, credibility. Some would say, whatever you want, however you want to describe such party, to be worthy or to be voted for comes under, you know, some kind of heavy criticism and perhaps questioning. Uh, what's your party doing with the threat, or let me say, no, let me even say threat, announcement, declaration by Senator Magnus Abe that his name will be on the ballot come 2023? Which of the ballot is it going to come? Is it Magnus, Senator Magnus Abe is already in SDP. He's in the governorship candidate of SDP. I don't think he's, he wants to, he's, he's not a member of our party. He has resigned membership for a great party. So if now, how did your party take the fact that he moved to another party, bearing in mind that he has a very strong followership that would have given you um, the kind of robust um, response from electorates as being perceived, let's say, in 2019? I, like I said earlier on, I don't want to take personal initiative, but I can tell you clearly, like I said earlier on, we're going to defeat Magnus Abe in Bera, where he comes from in his local government. There's no need to talk about it. We will defeat him in Gokana. We're not scared about that. The election is going to tell who is popular and who is not popular. All right. Are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Okay, so let me ask another question as an electorate in River State at this point in time. Um, I was said earlier on that it was seem as if to say build up towards elections uh, for the APCs. Something seems to still be missing uh, that perhaps the party needs to really find out, to be really t uh, able to understand and cash it on it. Were there mistakes made in the past, perhaps in whatever, under whatever guise, uh, that the party has not been able to get it right to win the governorship seat in the state? I think what uh, what I will tell you clearly is that uh, in the last election in 2015, you know what happened in this country um, between the Jonathan interfering with electorate in River State. That's exactly what happened. In 2019, APC was not in the ballot. You know that. If we were in the ballot, you know what happened? 42 hours. Awara did the magic in River State because APC decided to back Awara. If we were in the ballot last election, we wouldn't have been talking about uh, PDP in River State. You know that. Let's not pretend about it. All Nigerians will know what happened. APC is going to be in ballot this summer, right? And when we're in ballot, you see what happened in River State. So we're counting down to the, to, the, to the general elections, very important. We're also counting down to the campaign, which begins uh, next month. Your party, together with the other parties, I'm sure, will have at the back of their minds those um, horrendous statistics when it comes to um, pre-election violence that have happened, and even election day violence uh, in this country. Uh, River State has, um, unfortunately, notorious credentials when it comes to uh, violence that happens, and uh, people have pointed fingers at the political actors uh, for oftentimes heightening the tension uh, around the polls. What are you doing to prevent violence from reoccurring, uh, recurring this election uh, campaign period uh, in River State? As a party, as a party, we have talked to our uh, supporters not to get involved in violent election. Violent election would not make it to, to win the election in River State. What will make you win an election in reverse is by talking to the people, talking to the electorate that you need to vote for a credible candidate. There's no need for you to mobilize people to make trouble across the state. There's no we'll be talking to our supporters because by the time you start making trouble, you don't know when the election will be off. You need to focus on the it's like when you're playing golf, your eyes on the ball. We're not ready to do no violence. And the commission of police has directed that nobody should get involved in violence in this election. And we're going to sign undertaking. All the political parties are going to sign undertaking. If you construct your party, you're going to pay certain penalty. We are not we are not telling anybody to go and get itself involved. We will not encourage that. 
and we're telling the security agent to take charge. Anybody that con uh, causes crisis, violence in River State, the person should be apprehended and charged to court. All right, right now, um, the APC under the leadership, um, your leadership as the chairman, and of course, uh, we know that the Minister for Transportation, Ruth Mehmet, she is uh, uh, the man that must be reckoned with in APC uh, politics uh, in, in the state. Um, how far has it been able to really rally uh, the membership generally at this point in time towards having one voice towards 2023? Well, if you would, after the primary, you know all the candidates met, they signed on the ticket that they're going to work like a family. And the only person who, before the election, Senator Magnus Abbey backed out that he was not partaking in the primary anymore. And the rest of them who partake, I think they're working together as a family to make sure we've been able, like I said to you, we've been talking to other people. You don't expect everybody to be happy, you know, when you're in the ballot, when you, you have an ambition to reach one of the tickets, I probably you don't get, definitely you feel a little bit sad, but we're talking to them to make sure that, like I said, you know, the ultimate goal is for us to win an election in River State. And I can tell you clearly, all the candidates, all the candidates around election, the primary for the governorship, all of them are working together. There are probably a few of them who probably are not confident have stepped to the other side of the party. And a few of them who probably wanted to run elections, some of them are not political. Right? One of them just left the, uh, the oil industry, said he wants to become governor. As soon as he didn't get it, he ran to PDP. But the rest of them are working together, from Ujike Flaga Makri, from uh, Sokonte David, mm -hmm. and uh, the rest of them are working together to make sure the party wins election. I'm just being curious, you know, um, the incumbent governor of River State, uh, uh, Yusom Wike uh, will not be on the ballot. He, he's been the, perhaps the biggest critic of um, your party at the national level and perhaps also at the state level. Um, what do you think? Um, he, he's not been, he won't be at the ballot, but I've seen a number of projects uh, he's commissioned and somehow your party's name keeps getting into uh, the speeches or either the songs about how uh, he's dealt with the party. Did you heave a huge sigh of relief that you're not going to have uh, uh, him to contend with in next year's general election? Well, as a governor, he owes the rivers to um, do projects in the state. Um, the project, what are the projects that is commissioned? I don't want to like criticize the government, but I think that uh, in this modern world, we we'll talk about unemployment is key. Industries are very key, not about road, road, road. Green road is not going to provide food on the table to of any reverse person. And that's why I don't want to talk about issues of commissioning project of talking about. As a politician, you're bound to say something, that's up to you. When the time for campaign comes, we're going to respond to him. That's just the truth. I will respond to him as the chairman of the party. And I'm not scared of responding to him because I, we all know ourselves, we know where we're coming from. And responding to him is not an issue to any reverse person. We have the statistic what has come into River State cover since he became governor of River State. We'll tell River State what has happened to our phone. He has to explain to River State. People. He won't be governor after May 29th next year. He won't be governor of River State. And I can tell you clearly well, what governor we can do is looking where he's going to hide. And I, 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 he, this election, I don't know how what is going to happen in River State. But one thing I'm very sure that we'll clean the government of River State. I can tell you clearly. We're not scared of it. All right, let's talk about your governorship candidate, Sonia Cole, and the fact yes. that uh, many people would say, uh, you just mentioned the, the uh, Governor Wiki, the present governor, would talk about the things he's doing, uh, you know, show off the project, is being named Mr. Project and all of that. Let's talk about your governorship candidate at this point in time. What are the strengths that he, with, in combination with the party's manifesto, uh, combine to really outdo what Governor Wicke is doing right now, if you give him any credit for anything at all? Well, let me talk about my governorship candidate. I've, like I said earlier on, he's a technocrat coming from the private sector. And he's somebody who grew up from Lagos. If you know Lagos and Rivers used to have the same IGRO before. And if you look at the IGRO of Lagos State and compare to River State, you can't, there's no comparison at all. As a governor, when he went to him, as governor of Rivers, 
a lot of physical development will happen in river states. First, it has to tackle insecurity. First, that's the only way investors can come into the states. If environment is not secure, they can't come to river states. After that, it's going to put industries. We are tired of this bridge. You do bridge and bridge goes up and come down. We need to put where to employ our people. Those are the major focal points of uh, uh, Paso Terico is going to look into reverse. As soon as it, that is, as soon as they announce him as governor, they will start our project. We don't need to be handover. We can't wait for one. We need to start talking to the investors to come to River State. We need to claim, uh, 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 create employment for our people. What is happening in River State is a ministry, ministry work. No. We need to look at other areas. River State is one of the states, the highest of unemployment in Nigeria, River State. We can't continue that way anymore. Yes, it's good for to create, create road. But if create road, will people eat road? No. People must be paid. People must go to work. Children have to go to school. How do you pay their fees? In the last admission that Roti Michigan was governor of River State, River student has scholarship to study overseas. They had the opportunity to go to better educate, better schools. We don't have it anymore. As a government, a government is a continuity. Whatever governor we can we'll continue from there. We won't abandon his project. Because it's reverse money. We can't. And I can tell you clearly, Pastor Koko will continue from where we can stop as governor and to make sure the state is developed. But we must create unemployment. We must create jobs for reverse people. We must create jobs for reverse people. Very well said. And I, I guess uh, you perhaps have a response for uh, Governor Wiki. I, I hear the production uh, team has um, a clip. Maybe if it's ready, we play it and then We'll get your response uh, to what um, uh, Governor Wiki said. I, I, th I, hear, I think this is a commissioning of a project uh, that happens. If we have it, uh, let's see and uh, let um, uh, Mecca Beke respond to it um, if it's ready. All right, okay, so we'll, we'll go on a quick break. When we come back, uh, we still have Mecca Beke with us. He's the chairman of the All Progressives Congress in River State. Please stay with us. in cases of kidnapping, banditry, coal clashes, bombings, and other acts of terror. It seems the current state of insecurity is relatively higher than ever before. Insecurity affects us all. It affects everything from our personal freedom, how we travel, from the cost of goods and services, to even our physical and mental health. Therefore, we have a duty to help security agencies protect us better wherever and whenever we can. If you see or hear something suspicious in your neighborhood, don't keep it to yourself, but be sure to say something to the right authorities. Remember, you could just be saving a life, and that life you save could be yours. This is a message from the Silverbird Group. How much of technology do you understand? I took a look at my LinkedIn and they said, they didn't see, I can't forget the words, hmm. evidence of your work. A tech hub? We help you understand how tech can impact your life. Your phone and your SIM card is going to be a bigger asset. And with the power that we have with social media, with uh, the digital space right now, you can be anything you want to be. One of the other things we'll see is that people will have more faith in tech companies. And how much you can, through tech, impact your community. The people who watch my videos, the people who see me and see what I represent, those are the people that are online. Tech Hub is your one-stop platform for all things technology in Africa. Tech Hub, for a smarter you. You can now stream Silverbird News 24 live on mobile app. All you need to do is to download Silverbird News 24 app from Google Play Store on your Android devices and App Store or on your Apple devices. Tap the live button at the bottom bar to watch us live 24-7. You can enjoy all our news programs including PJ News and program. Silverbird News 24, 
the news never stops. Well, welcome back and uh, we're still having our discussion and this is taking us to the end of the show, what is happening in River State, especially with the All Progressives Congress. And we have uh, Shewan Emeka Beke, who is uh, the chairman of the All Progressives Congress in uh, River State. And um, we have, um, just before we went on the break, we wanted you to respond uh, to the governor of River State because you said if, you, um, if, you, if, he, if he directed his comments at the party, uh, perhaps it would be easier for you to respond to them. So the production team has this uh, clip and let's watch it and we'll get back uh, to America BK. Yes, so we keep up the double. So we keep up the double. 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 We keep up to talk about Wiki every day, every day. Meanwhile, Wiki and his team were busy bringing down every structure of APC here, providing the dividends of democracy to our people. Your own state, you're only busy talking about Wiki, 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 Wiki. All right, there you have uh, Yusom Wiki, the governor of um, River State. And, um, uh, Mika, I guess you have to admire his dance steps and maybe his dress style, you know, but uh, what's your reaction to the things he says about breaking down uh, the structure of your party in, um, in River State? Can I respond? Please go ahead. Hello? Go ahead. Hello? Amika, we can go ahead. We can hear you. Hello. All right. We'll try and fix the audio and um, uh, fix the audio. And let, let's say we can get his response to that because I, I guess he's eager to uh, respond to. Oh, you very, very important. Have just to admire his maybe his dress sense for a start. Uh, aside <laughs> that, I think uh, uh, Governor Wiki's hype man. Needs oh some, my goodness! You know. All right. All right. So we have a make back. Um, uh, please, please go ahead. Some of us who know how we talk about dressing, you can't compare us when we want to dress. He might buy he might buy expensive clothes, but it's not about dressing issue. First, the 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 issue consigning people are talking about. Nobody talks about him. Like I've said, I've said it clearly. Anybody who is going to the other side of the party. Probably hunger is the hunger. They are hungry. They want to go. But I can tell you, they are collecting the money. They will still come. I assure you, those people you think, they will come back. As soon as APC was there, they will come back to APC. That is the truth position of my life. There are a lot of people who, are, who have left Wiki, who have collected money from Wiki, and today they've abandoned him. What are we talking about? This reverse, this money is made is reverse money. It's reverse money. And two, some don't have character. Character is very important when it comes to politics. You can't buy some people because of money. You can't. That's the truth. As a party, our focus is to win the election. Our eyes on the ball. And we're going to win the election. The same people who have left APC to PDP tomorrow, they will come back. And that's the position. Um, Chief Baker, uh, let me get it in a more clear term. Uh, Governor Wike says that he's broken down all the structures of APC and River State. Which of the structure? Which of the structure? Uh, which of the structure that he's brought uh, down? Are your structures, you know? Really, how healthy would you say your structures across River State uh, is at this point in time? How, how, how solid are they? Let, 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 you know, one thing I don't want to talk about, I won't talk about my strategy. We are hitting the Popo tomorrow. First, we are going to Popo Town on the 1st of September. 
Um, he 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 say, pulled down. I don't know the structure that he has pulled down. He should mention the people he has pulled down. Like I said, I don't... If I start I mentioning, I'll tell you, everybody pedigree in this business will be in. I know their strength. I know how they've been working. Well, I don't want to talk about issues, but one thing I'm very sure that Wiki has not brought down one single structure of APC in River State. Our team is still intact. All right. It's amazing. If to probably one person leaves, you say he has pulled, you said he has pulled down. He has not put down one structure at all. Everybody that he has taken, probably, probably in one way or the other, and who decide, they've made up their mind to go the other, they've left the party, but they've not moved. I don't want to, if I go one after the other, I'll tell them their strength and their political reasons, and I don't want to go to that. Oh, all right, we're going Hello. to have to leave it at that, but thank you very much, uh, America Beke, who is the chairman of the All Progressives Congress in River State. It's been great speaking with you, and we do hope to touch base with you. Um, as we count down to the next year's general election and we look at what is going on in River State. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. So, well, All right. <laughs> some, some interview and some, I hope that um, the people have the opportunity, especially the people in River State who may uh, make up a large chunk of the viewership of um, this station, yeah. will get the best deal, or like we say. Uh, they, guess they get the best for the be for, for the buck, you know, best value for the buck that they are putting in ahead of the election. Because so many issues, like he mentioned, he's right. There are many issues around development. There's so much oil that comes into the Niger Delta, but very, very little to show for it in terms of um, people who are living above the poverty line. That's amazing. Yeah. And the beauty of it all is um, March is around the corner. March 2023 is around the corner for electorates in river states uh, to be able to go to the polls and speak. Uh, it's wonderful for political parties to say these are the things we've been able to do and these are the things we intend to do. It's another thing entirely also for uh, the, the uh, electorates to be able to understand the plans of whoever wants to do something or be able to appreciate whatever anyone must have done for them. Uh, so <laughs> the voice will be heard loud and clear come March 2023 when governorship election as well as state house of assembly uh, would be held. So in the midst of that, as we await the road, as it gets closer and shorter every day, let's take another break. We'll be back with another conversation right here. Do you stay with us? And so the conversation that we have to have before 2023 is where is your PVC? My PVC 